calle, la 106, de la quinta avenida al río, Boulevard Julia de Burgos, es importante no solamente porque reconocemos a esta ilustra mujer, sino porque nos, ofrecemos, nos ofrece como comunidad una oportunidad de conmemorar un aspecto de nuestra historia colectiva. Julia de Burgos fue una mujer de mucho dolor y sufrimiento, pero nos deja poemas con mucho sentimiento, poemas líricos que celebran la mujer, el amor, la herencia africana, la muerte, entre otros sentimientos. Es sumamente apropiado que este boulevard, Julia de Burgos, llegue hasta el río en homenaje de su más reconocido poema, Río Grande de Loiza. Finalmente, hoy también estamos marcando otro importante momento en la historia del barrio, porque hoy está, esta calle es la primera calle que nombramos en reconocimiento de una mujer puertorriqueña. Como la, y yo, como la primera mujer puertorriqueña elegida al Consejo Municipal para este distrito, asume mayor importancia para mí este día. Así que muchas gracias a todos por hacer este día una realidad. Thank you very much. There's something melodramatic and poetic in that the day is tough because Julia's life is tough. And because the day is tough because her poetry spoke of tough things and tough parts of life. And to celebrate this today is very important. Now, as you know, I represent El Bron, and I congratulate all of you for coming together, the legislators, the community, the planning board, the community board, to honor Julia. Because in doing so, you do two things. One, which is also always a little touchy subject with me, but one that I have to always put forth. And that is, for any community to know where it's going, it needs to know where it's been. And for the Latino community to go forward, it needs to know that the roots of the Latino community were Puerto Rican pioneers that opened this city and opened this city for everyone else. Now that, that in no way, shape, or form takes away the hard work of Latinos today or the suffering. It's just that to build for a future, you have to know that Julia was here. You have to know that people were here demanding changes. I was one of those who years ago was told, no, ustedes los puertorriqueños de mayor han creado disparates del idioma, como la marqueta y el building, y el cakey. Y yo, y yo argumentaba que esas palabras eran parte de una experiencia y un movimiento y un sufrimiento que habían abierto puertas en esta ciudad. Y mire, hoy en día el, el, el building el rufo y la marqueta son palabras justas y dignas. Así que me uno a ustedes hoy. Me uno a ustedes en celebrar la vida de esta persona tan gloriosa para nosotros. Me uno a ustedes hoy en recordarles que esas luchas de que la cual ella escribió siguen escribiéndose hoy en día y tratándose porque si ella estuviera viva hoy yo estoy seguro que ya le hubiera escrito algo del de error de invadir a Irak y crear esta situación tan horrible. Entonces, yo sé que si ella estuviera viva hoy, estuviera escribiendo de que nos van a juzgar en generaciones en el futuro en términos de cómo tratamos a las personas que sufren de SIDA y cómo tratamos a los inmigrantes que llegan a esta nación. Julia estuviera escribiendo de esos temas. And so I thank you for today, and I thank you for this legacy you've put forth. Uh, like I said, I'm from the Bronx, but people say all Puerto Ricans carry Puerto Rico in their heart. I think all Puerto Ricans carry El Barrio in their heart. Thank you. It's an honor to be here uh, to celebrate a very historic occasion, historic uh, not only for East Harlem, uh, and for our Puerto Rican community, but for the entire city and our nation. That are inside El Barrio, and that's 116th and 106th Street. When you think about it, two major streets that go both ways inside El Barrio. What a wonderful uh, tradition now to have uh, uh, Julia de Burgos join Luis Muñoz Marin Boulevard to continue to express what the congressman and many others have said before, that the pioneers of the Latino community here in this city were Puerto Ricans, and the pioneers of the Latino struggles in this city, going back to the 30s and the 40s, were people that came from Puerto Rico looking for a better life, for their children looking for a better life, for generations yet to come.
And it's a struggle that continues to this day as we are joined now by different uh, Latino groups, by different immigrant groups that will continue to uh, enhance and strive for excellence in this city. So, muchísimas gracias a todos por tener la oportunidad de estar aquí presente y siempre, si Dios quiere, el pueblo permita, seguiremos diciendo presente la memoria de Julia Burgos y la memoria de esas mujeres puertorriqueñas. Gracias, familia. Que Dios bendiga. Oye, hoy, today. What is the importance of this today's activity honoring this human being? Well, I think it's very important for Latinos living in El Barrio um, to stake a claim, and especially in the wake of the incredible displacement and gentrification that we're facing with all of the overdevelopment and, and the skyscrapers that are being built in El Barrio, I think it's important for us to stake a claim, or rather restake a claim, and um, honor the important legacy that Puerto Ricans have in terms of their contributions to East Harlem. Julia de Burgos is certainly uh, one of the foremost Puerto Rican women that El Barrio has seen. She lived and died here in El Barrio. And she was an incredible poet, someone who inspired my own writing actually as a poet. Um, she was also a journalist, a progressive, um, supported Puerto Rican independence. And she's an incredibly important figure here in East Harlem history and Puerto Rican history. And I think it's, you know, this is something that I was deeply involved in when I personally collected petition signatures. Um, up and down the street on 106th because I think, again, that in the wake of displacement and gentrification, we need to stake claim to our legacy. We are honored, particularly honored, to have a street sign renamed and, you know, honoring her and El Barrio. And it was great to see people coming from all over the city and other parts of the nation here to honor her today. Okay. Can you also tell us a little about the museum that's right here on the 6th Street near Lexington Avenue? Well, it was uh, a collaboration of uh, Hope Community and a, a couple of uh, private um, funders, sponsors. We did an image uh, to um, acknowledge that Julia de Bungos lived in East Harlem. I selected a, a verse from one of her poems called uh, The Madness of My Soul, La Locura de Mi Alma. I translated it, well, I used a translation of both Spanish and English that Jack Agueros had uh, worked on and created a piece to give people a reference, not only a visual reference, uh, but also a literary one. Uh, and a lot of thought and planning went into that to create an image that would actually make Julia accessible to uh, everybody today on the street and to upgrade the whole public art scene in East Harlem and about here, as well as the Bronx. I was born in the Bronx and I still have my heart there. Yes. So you're still a Bronx uh, homeboy at heart? Yeah, yeah. Still from the boogie down. Yeah. Okay.